guys, how's it going? Tez back again with another episode of the Chelsea Career Mode here on Xbox One. And we could start this uh, episode by confirming that we have stood down as managers of the England national team. We uh, we obviously got knocked out in the quarterfinals of the 2014 World Cup against uh, against Portugal. And I have stood down as manager. So uh, I want to concentrate on everything that is Chelsea Football Club. And should we get as far as Euro 2016 in this particular Career Mode series, then I may consider taking another international job. But for now, we're going to concentrate on Chelsea and in this game we start off against or in this episode we start off with a game against Manchester United obviously coming into this two days after uh, winning the uh, the Super Cup the European Super Cup beating Zenit St. Petersburg and they get off to uh, well about they were about to get off to a decent start as Ashley Young had an open goal to aim at but he kind of timed his shot a little bit wrong as uh, as that replay confirmed and uh, that was just ridiculous and then we get a stroke of absolute luck Hazard gets too close here I uh, I had the option to square it and I didn't take it and he had the shot from just an angle he was never going to score from. We get such a lucky deflection off the goalkeeper's arm. You'll see it from the replay. Why they're playing Anders Lindegaard and not David De Gea, I don't know. They may have sold De Gea on. I'm not entirely too sure. But you see, just uh, it's just unfortunate. It's the gamer's engine as opposed to uh, a genuine realistic chance. But... Um, We'll take it. It's 1-0 up against Manchester United at home. Of course, recently these two teams did meet in the Premier League. Antonio Valencia going very, very close there as well. But uh, Chelsea won 3-1 on Sunday. So, well, Sunday just gone as you're watching this on Friday. So, hopefully, we can come out of this one with a victory as well. And we're going to get another lucky goal here. Eden Hazard squares the ball back across to Fernando Torres after Lindegaard makes a decent first save from the initial effort. But he really should be turning that around the post and out for a corner as opposed to just palming it straight back into play. It was poor from the goalkeeper and a Again. And uh, the ball across from Hazard is so teasing, this ball across here, because the defenders just have to watch it. If they stick a foot out, they're going to score an own goal. Unfortunately for us, Fernando Torres was stealing in at the back post to give us a 2-0 lead as we were head in at half-time. So uh, we're looking good in this one so far, but David Moyes gave his uh, gave his guys an absolute lashing at half-time. A real verbal battering, because they came out second half flying at me. As you can see, RVP had that initial header that was well blocked by David Luiz. You're going to whip the corner in. Fellaini is going to go up. Obviously very, very good in the air. We get a block on the first one. The second one gets a block. So poor clearance from me. And then the uh, the final shot takes a big deflection off Danilo or Rafael Varane, one of the defenders. And it finds its way into that bottom left-hand corner. And Pecek is absolutely devastated to have conceded because he does love keeping a clean sheet for Chelsea. And uh, Rambo is coming very close here to extending our lead back to two goals. Draws a good save out of Anders Lindegaard. Something that he actually did right in this game. But RVP is going to turn. Really nice turn. And we're lucky because RVP with space on his left foot can be absolutely deadly. Unfortunately for us there, he wasn't able to even hit the target. Maybe that's just a sign of how rusty he is towards the be at the beginning of the season. I'm not too sure. But we're going to try and extend the lead. Try and put the game to bed just like we did the uh, the game against Zenit. Hazard is going to try and find a pass in the box. The ball's eventually going to find its way to Ramirez again. Goalkeeper makes a good save. Royce still searching for his first goal for the club. Again has a goalkeeper block a shot from two or three yards away. He's just been so unlucky so far. But Danilo's going to get the ball played out to him here. Dave scored an absolute screamer from distance and Danilo comes so close. Our right backs are loving having these pops at goal right now. And so almost, almost making it three there. But nonetheless, we're able to run out 2-1 winners, pick up three points. And that is three wins from three in the Premier League so far this season. So actually, that game was played on deadline day. And we get an offer in early on with about eight hours to go of the ten from Atletico Madrid for Kevin De Bruyne. Now, I asked on Twitter whether, you know, what I should do with this particular deal because I wasn't too sure. If you want to have a real-time influence on what happens on the career mode when I'm recording it, do feel free to follow me on Twitter at Chesnoy Gaming because I do tweet out a lot about what goes on in my series and, uh, you know, if there's anything, any sort of feedback, I need immediate feedback, then Twitter is where I turn for that. But I put in a counter offer of 30 million and uh, they came back with 24 and a half and it's still not enough to uh, for me to... Uh, to part with Kevin De Bruyne. Now the response on Twitter when I asked was kind of half and half. Uh, a lot of you said keep him and uh, quite a few said actually just let him go but I uh, they offered a couple with 26 and a half and again it still wasn't quite what I was after so I asked for 28 just that extra 1.5 mil and they weren't willing to uh, to stretch that far so Kevin De Bruyne stays at Chelsea Football Club for the time being it was again a case even if they had accepted of course every time we go from offer to offer an hour has passed in the in the uh, in the deadline day and we were running out of time to bring in a potential replacement but uh, you can see me scrolling 
scrolling through the teams at the, uh, the left hand side here so you can see which players have come in which players have gone out from each specific club in the Premier League if you want to stop it on any particular club then feel free to check out the players in players out and the uh, the fees paid but Klaas Jan Huntelaar going to Fulham is a big deal that's massive for them and as you can see on the right hand side the latest deal Grenier from Lyon to Manchester United for £26 million. Fortunately, that deal went through after our game, so uh, he wasn't able to play against us. Maybe they'd have had a better performance if uh, Grenier was in their starting lineup. Maybe replace Fellaini with him, give him that little bit more of attacking threat, but who knows? We uh, Maybe we'll find out later in the season when we have to go up to the old to the Old Trafford just have to go up to Old Trafford but uh, there was quite a lot of transfer dealings go on as you can see £101.5 million spent in the BPL and uh, it's massive Man City something that I didn't put in because the deal didn't go through but Man City had a bid accepted for Neymar of £76 million £76 million for one player mental but fortunately uh, it actually the uh, the it timed out they uh, only got the offer accepted about three hours before the end of deadline day so they didn't have enough time to get it through because they as you saw in the bottom right in the uh, as the deadline day thing was going along they've lost Sergio Aguero to Bayern Munich and uh, obviously trying to replace him with Neymar using that Aguero money well but they weren't able to bring him in so uh, fortunately the uh, the teams around us seem to be weakened as we've strengthened in this window and that strength has been kind of easy to see on the pitch we've been picking up win after win and uh, that deflected cross is going to end up in the back of the net Ramirez is able to uh, to redirect his run get on the end of the ball as a fantastic header back across the goalkeeper into that far top corner the uh, the keeps was you know tracking back across to his right then to have to dive all the way back across and up as well it's really fantastic looping header to give us an early 1-0 lead keeps just no chance it was not his fault there was nothing he could do there it was just a fantastic header from uh, from Ramirez and he's going to get a chance for his second here but this time the goalkeeper is able to get down and make a decent save down to his right hand side to do exactly what Lindegaard didn't in the previous uh, in the previous game push the ball round the post but uh, he's eventually going to drop on the edge of the box to uh, to Quadro Asamoah and uh, we're going to pick up a penalty now it's for handball Asamoah went to uh, to have the shot with his head and you can see here from the replay it does strike the defender on the arm so it is handball the penalty is legit and Arturo Vidal is going to step up fantastic pen right to that top left hand corner and it gives us a 2-0 lead and we are absolutely flying right now in the Premier League and as you can see West Brom just trying to prove to me at the end of the half that they can pick me apart if they so uh, if they so desire. Nice little intricate passing move there to uh, to end up with the ball just in front of the goalkeeper. But fortunately, Czech rushed out to uh, to snuff out the threat. And we were able to go in at the break 2-0 up. So we're uh, 2-0 up in the first game, 2-0 up in the second game. But Man's, <coughs> Man United, uh, as I was trying to say, Man United uh, obviously scored one back. In uh, early on in the second half, this time against West Brom, we were able to stay firm at the back, and uh, we're actually going to break from their attempt here. We're going to rush up the other end. Eden Hazard plays in Lewis Muriel, whose feet are absolutely superb, by the way. It's going to give it an absolute whack from distance, and goalkeeper again, fair play to him, makes a great save up to his top right-hand corner. That would have been a stunner from Muriel. Ben Foster really doing the work here, but the corner, the, the corner, the corner is going to come in. Lewis Muriel is going to find himself on the end of it again, and this time it's blocked by a defender, but the pressure is not gone just yet we're going to have another corner to whip in this time it's Eden Hazard from the right hand side in it goes up goes Rafael Varane it's flicked onto David Luiz has the shot well saved Luis Muriel shows quick feet to get it back to David Luiz and this time the ball eventually finds its way into the bottom corner and again you'll see from the replay it was a case of goalkeeper going one way and the ball going the other fantastic feet from Muriel there to quickly change direction but got, Keeps would have been going right again as the ball was played back into the box and the ball went back to his left change of feet can't do it quick enough and unfortunately for Ben Foster he does concede a third goal of the game and they came close there to getting one back nice effort probably deserved to go in the bottom corner after uh, after quite a nice move but they were actually going to get one back towards the end of the game into the stoppage time Shane Long's got the pace to race away but I was able to just bait it I waited and waited for him to take the shot and I was able to block it, but it bounced free to uh, to Stefan Sessegnon and fair play to him absolutely fantastic finish across the goalkeeper into that far bottom right hand corner Czech's not the smallest to keeps and it was just accurate enough to be in between his outstretched hand and the far post so we take a 3-1 win our goal difference is plus 7 as is Manchester City's as you can see they've scored one less and conceded one less than us and we are the only two teams to still maintain a 100% record 
in the division. So that's going to bring this one to a close, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Please do feel free to leave the video a like. If you could be so kind, that would be absolutely superb. If uh, you aren't subscribed to the channel, then feel free to do so. There'll be a link in the description and an annotation on screen over that little subscribe button. And if you missed yesterday's video, there'll be an annotation to that on screen as well over the snippet of gameplay. But thank you very much for watching, guys. That's going to wrap this one up. So uh, I'll see you tomorrow with some more interactive Road to Division 1.